Okay, in this uh, video, we will be discussing uh, maneuvers to improve uh, oxygenation. And the only two parameters that we can modify to improve oxygenation uh, are FiO2 and mean airway pressure. So if we have a patient on pressure control mode of ventilation with inspiratory pressure of 15 PEEP of 5, inspiratory time of 1.5, and respiratory rate of 12. We can improve oxygenation by going up on the B on the FiO2 all the way to 100%. And then the other parameter that we can modify to improve oxygenation would be the mean airway pressure. And what we mean by the mean airway pressure is the area under the curve in the pressure time scalar or the black area here in this curve. So the more black area we have, the higher the mean air pressure. Here the mean air pressure is at 10 centimeter of water. We can increase the mean air pressure by going up on the beep. So if we go up on the beep all the way to 14, we will increase that pressure in both expiration and inspiration. So it will have a remarkable effect on the mean air pressure. And you can notice that the mean air pressure increased from 10 all the way to 19. The second maneuver that we can do to improve mean air pressure is increasing the inspiratory pressure, adding more black area here in inspiration. We can go up, up on the mean air uh, on the inspiratory pressure but we have a limitation at 30 centimeter of water for the airway for the lung protection strategy and by going up on the inspiratory pressure see that the mean air pressure here increased to 22 centimeter if we still have problems with oxygenation the third parameter that we can modify would be the inspiratory time Let's extend the inspiratory time so we can have more of this high pressure here in inspiration. So we can extend the inspiratory time to two seconds and add more to that inspiratory pressure here in terms of time. So the peak air, um, the mean error pressure would increase from 22 to higher uh, value, but it's not changed on this simulator because of programming issue. You can get uh, higher on the on the inspiratory time till you get uh, 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 the uh, to inverse ratio uh, mode of ventilation, but you need to make sure that you don't uh, jeopardize ventilation and you don't cause uh, dynamic hyperinflation syndrome. The fourth uh, parameter uh, that can be modified to improve oxygenation and improve mean air pressure would be the ramp or the rise time. Take a look on the uh, rise time here uh, from this point, which is PEEP, to the inspiratory, the peak inspiratory pressure. It's take, taking us 0.45 seconds. 0.45 seconds to increase the pressure to the inspiratory, to peak inspiratory pressure. So we can add more black area here by decreasing this rise time from 0.45 seconds. 2.1 second so you can see that we added more to the initial rise of the pressure here it is of course uh, a minimal amount but in severe cases everything counts if we're done with these four maneuvers we need to increase the uh, oxygenation more the only uh, parameter that is left for us would be increasing the rate we can go up on the rate to 15 but within the limitation of the ventilatory status of the patient, by going up on the rate to 15, we will add more inspiratory uh, press, inspiratory time within the minute. That means more mean airway pressure in every minute. This way, these five maneuvers are the ones responsible to improve mean airway pressure and oxygenation. Let's review them again. Number one, increasing the beep. Number two, increasing inspiratory time. Number three, increasing 
inspiratory pressure number four decreasing the ramp and number five increasing the rate so those maneuvers are in uh, pressure control uh, mode of ventilation in volume control mode of ventilation things are uh, similar except for the inspiratory pressure as we cannot control it but what we can do is number one we can increase the peep this is back to the original uh, settings that we had uh, on the same patient but this is volume control mode of ventilation with a tidal volume of 360 fi2 is already at 100 percent flow rate is 30 inspiratory time is 1.5 respiratory rate is 12 and peep of 5. the mean air pressure is back to 11 centimeter of water we can go up on the peep to 14 to improve oxygenation and this increase will be involving both inspiration and expiration. The second maneuver that we have is the inspiratory time that we can go up to two seconds and we can do higher than two seconds for to improve oxygenation. The third maneuver that we can do would be to increase the, the tidal volume. However, we have a limitation not to increase the tidal volume more than 6 ml per kg in those patients who have ARDS. If the patient has uh, an ideal body weight of 70 kilos, we can go as high as 42, uh, 420 ml of tidal volume. When we go up on the tidal volume, the pressure here goes up and again, the area under the curve is increased for the, the patient and the mean air pressure is increased, then oxygenation would get better. The last maneuver, of course, there is no rise time here because we cannot control the pressure. And the last uh, one would be to increase the rate as we did in the previous case. So those are the uh, maneuvers that we can uh, uh, modify to improve oxygenation in patients uh, with uh, uh, volume control versus pressure control uh, mode of ventilation. Of course, uh, we have other modes that can provide you with better uh, uh, mean air pressure, such as airway uh, pressure release uh, ventilation, ABRV, uh, where we can extend the inspiratory time to five to six seconds. And uh, then uh, you can uh, use uh, uh, high frequency ventilation where the control would be the mean uh, air pressure and the patient would, would breathe with oscillations around, uh, around this uh, mean air pressure. This concludes this uh, session of uh, maneuvers to improve uh, oxygenation in patients with uh, uh, ARDS uh, uh, on pressure controlled uh, mode of ventilation versus volume controlled mode of ventilation. Thank you.